Hi, Rick from Dreamside Out again. It's been a couple weeks or so since I've done a video. I'm glad you've stayed with me. Uh, here's another video about the van. So I want to start out by saying thank you to all of my viewers and new subscribers. Uh, there's been a whole lot of comments that I've gotten, just an overwhelming amount of them in a short period of time, and I haven't been able to keep up with answering them online. But uh, I think that what I will do is a is a, a, another video that will go down and just answer some some basic comments because I get a repetition of comments sometimes like things that have to do with the sliding back door and that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going <clears> to <throat> show you one of the very important parts of my van build that that uh, it has been, uh, I mean it's one of the main reasons I got a van like this and, and it's the drawing table that I have. Uh, a couple people have asked about it and how I built it and everything and I'll show you that in detail right now how it's put together and uh, explain that to you if you just stay with me. Well as you see here uh, the table itself is very useful just as a regular table right now you know I have my laptop, my coffee, my uh, other equipment on there and uh, it, it works great for that. It's also a table that I can eat off of because it's right across you know from the, the, the kitchen here and I can make my coffee or whatever and then turn around and there's the table um, also I, I went with this kind of a chair just a little sideline I, I highly recommend these triangular shaped chairs for inside of a small space because look I mean it it, it fits in here really nicely I mean, it doesn't. It, there's no corners that bump into anything. If that if that was a square uh, chair, it would be more awkward in this space. But because it's like this, I can just you know sit in it really easy like this. It's very comfortable, and it it works great. I mean, uh, I I think this is like the and then it, it just folds up so easy. You know, just there you go. You don't have to do any fussing around to fold it and unfold it unless you're holding a camera <laughs> while you're doing it but um, it's just an easy chair to, and I, I think I got this at uh, either Cabela's or the Bass Shop I can't wait what does it say right there Bass Pro Shop right there that's where I got it uh, but I've seen them at other places and you probably have too um, so let me just show you the mechanism of my table and how it works now it's gonna take a second to clear it off and then I'll show you the whole thing and this is the one of the most important uses for me. It's my artwork. You know, and here's a, a few samples of sketches and things I've been working on. Um, I do these fictitious portraits. Um, <laughs> and uh, I like to invent uh, um, faces uh, because I've sometimes met people that look just like the pictures I've, I've drawn. <laughs> I think it's kind of an interesting phenomenon that occurs. And that's one of the things I do. And then I have kind of have these kind of fantasy kind of illustrations. I don't know if you can see that. The pencil doesn't show up very well on the camera. Sometimes I ink them. But these are mostly sketches, just ideas that I work through and, and um, some of the things that I'm working on. Uh, <clears throat> but the other thing is I want this table to be big enough to support a full sheet of Arches drawing paper. And this is this is a, a big sheet of watercolor paper, 300 pound paper that as you can see, it's it's uh, this is actually my my favorite piece of art right here. It's it's the empty sheet because there's all kinds of possibilities here that are that are going to, you know, at some point appear on here. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's kind of a, a one of the main uses of, of the table. Now let me show you how the table works. 
So I've, I've shown before how the table folds up into this space, which is only, you know, it's about, you know, six and a half inches deep right here, folds up into there. And I, I have it fold up like this for, for a reason, because as I showed you before, if I have this piece of arches paper attached to here, uh, it'll be taped on. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, come up with a system of magnets to hold the paper on. I want to, if I'm working on a, a, a piece of art like that, I want to leave it right there and I want to be able to fold it right up in there and have it stay and also be protected, you know, so it's inside there rather than um, sticking on the outside. So that's why I didn't make a table that folds down and up like you see a lot of them. And the other, the other reason is I didn't want any, I didn't want any legs in the way here. Um, so I, I came up with this system of legs and, and brackets and so forth uh, to hold the table up and I'll show you how that works. The table just locks in place like this and this this is kind of a tight fit on here. I put a bolt through here to make it work better but gravity holds this down so it, it's always always uh, down like this and it, it goes up into a little mortised out uh, notch right there so it, it won't open. I've never had this pop open in when I'm going down the road even on bumpy roads up in the mountains or something. It's It stays pretty, it's pretty secure. Um, I did, I, I had this pivoted on just a screw. I, I added this bolt because it made it a little bit tighter and that's just a high lock bolt with some washers and it goes clear through you see right there. So it works very simple and I, I wanted it something that I could easily set up without putting things together. You know, I don't like that whole idea of, of assembling anything. I want it just to open up and be ready to go, you know. Um, so uh, if you look, look at the mechanism here, um, these legs are pivoted right off of here. And then this piece is also pivoted off of this piece. This piece here is attached to the table. Uh, that's screwed right in. And then, so there's a pivot here, a pivot here between these two. And then the, this piece here is, is pivoted to the side. So it's kind of an interesting mechanism. And I'll show you why I have all those pivot points. But as you see, when you fold the table down, See how the leg just catches on the bottom there, and as it goes down, it just stays right in there, and it's held in place. So that that system gives you plenty of strength, so I can pretty much lean on this table. I can put most of my weight on it. You know, I don't think I could get up there and dance on it, but I could put my, my weight on it pretty much. And I don't have any legs in the way here, see? And that's one of the, one of the reasons I did it that way. Um, now, the other thing about it is, too, I needed a table that opens up flat, but I also wanted a table that would tilt like this. You see, now that's the, uh, that's the reason I have the, the uh, pivots right here. As you see, it tilts clear up vertical. I mean, I could sit here at my drawing board like this and have a, almost like an easel type experience here where I have something taped right here. You know, let's say take this drawing. I could have that taped on there and uh, just sit here in my chair and, or a little painting or a piece of canvas or something just taped on there and I could paint right on it like that. You see, um, here's another bizarre drawing that I did down at, <laughs> that was one night after the Blues Festival in Portland. <laughs> I don't know, that was just a, what, what was in my mind after listening to a day of blues, you know. <laughs> it's kind of... <clears throat> So, as you see, um, the table tilts, but there's another, one of the best angles for the table is kind of a, oh, almost a 45 degree angle. So, I have these pegs that go right in here, these holes that I drilled in there, see, and then the table will stay in that position. Now, that's ideal for, for doing this sort of a thing, um, you know, because I can, then I can sit here and I get a, an angle or I can stand up and I can you know extend my arm full out into a uh, you know a, an ideal uh, 
situation for drawing. And this is just something that's come through years of experience doing artwork. This is just what I have to have to do artwork. You know, I like to have a, 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 a drawing table like this sometimes. I like to sit down like this. And sometimes I want it vertical. And then I also have a, an easel that I can take outdoors if I want to do that too. So I'm covered on all directions on that. All right, so there's another video about uh, one of the things I did in the van. I still owe everybody a video on my uh, solar charging system. I've had lots of uh, questions about that. And I know, I know you, how that is when you're trying to research this stuff. It's kind of mind boggling if you've never done it before, but I'll, I'll do a video on that in the future. And uh, there's a few other questions that I'll try to address. And I think I'll probably do a video just on uh, question answer session to uh, coming up so thank you for your views and thank you for uh, checking out my channel I hope you stick with me um, it's really uh, kind of cool having a connection with uh, all the van dwelling community out there so take care drive drive careful and happy vanning <laughs>